Good evening friends and welcome to Her Majesty blog where we bring together the world of pageants with the aim of revolutionizing the standards of beauty and creating social development through women empowerment. My name is Onke and I will be your host for tonight and on this particular show called It Is Within Her, we profile amazing women at the forefront of pageants from beauty queens to organizers, directors, CEOs and everyone else in the process as they let us in on what it's like to be a purposeful and pioneer woman in the world of pageants and tonight <laughs> we're interviewing finally the beautiful offense Esebopa who is the reigning Miss Teen Township South Africa and we interviewed her sister um, Queens before we've interviewed Esther we interviewed Neo all at the same time but now it's finally offense's turn and we've been waiting for this for an entire month already so there she sent the request to join the live let us not waste any time accept Hi. Hi, Fente. How are you? I'm okay, thanks. How are you? I'm good. I'm Big stuff. I have flu, so I know I'm not start I might sound weird. Really? Are you are you a bit sick? Yeah. Ah, uh, shame. Askies. Did you go to the doctor or did you take any meds? I went to the doctor yesterday. Oh great stuff. You know sickness these days, man. It could be anything. So <laughs> Again, we need to be we need to be ready. Oh my gosh, like I said, we've been waiting for this for about two months now because we interviewed Esther and Neo the other time and now we had to make space for you because you had exams and everything else. How did that go? It went um it went pretty well. It wasn't bad. I'm waiting for my results, so we'll see. So you're gonna do us proud, ne? Like hopefully born. <laughs> yes. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. Now, before I ask any further personal questions, I will allow you to tell us more about yourself. What is your story? Who is the Offense is Sobopa? Well, um, hi everyone. I am Sobopa Offense. I'm 18 years of age, currently residing in Limpopo in a small township called Matibela. In my spare time, I enjoy modeling, singing, as well as cheerleading. So yeah, that's just me. <laughs> Uh, I didn't get that. You said you reside in Limpopo and it was cutting a bit. Oh, in a small township called Matibela. Oh, okay. Yes. That's, that's interesting. Where is Matibela? I've never heard of it. Really? Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's in Zevitela. Oh, amazing. Wow. And where did your pageantry journey start and when? Um, my pageantry um, journey, I'd say 2018, actually. In 2018, yeah. I had other pageants, but I didn't go. Mm. So I, I wasn't confident at the time. So I pulled out and then 2019, I entered for the same pageant again. Mm. And then, luckily, I was crowned queen. And then that's oh, where nice. my journey began. And how is um, juggling pageants and school at the same time? How does that work out? Yo, it wasn't easy. I don't want to lie. Especially this year mm. because I was sick. It was very tough. But I believe that time management and like... Mm sorting your things and knowing what to do when to do your stuff actually helps so time management has been keeping me going throughout my pageant journey and especially this year with miss township south africa team oh nice nice which school you said matric wow all the best <laughs> okay i was attending at sj van der Merwe technical high school in lewahomu Technical high school. Mm, interesting. And the plans for next year? Thanks. <laughs> Any plans for next year? Moving forward into the future? Yeah, 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 yeah. Next year. Hey. <laughs> yeah, we're going to varsity. And then mm. I'll tell you guys next year which course I'm doing. <laughs> you are? I didn't get that. Next year, which course I'll be doing. 
Oh, you'll tell us next year which course you're going to be doing. Okay, so are we doing another interview next year? Are you entering another pageant? Where do you see your pageant journey actually going beyond Miss Township South Africa? Miss, um, Miss SA definitely will be entering mm. soon. <laughs> Mm, mm, yeah. Mm. So after my reigning year with Miss Township, I'll be entering for more pageants, and mm. then yeah. Amazing stuff, amazing. And your Instagram is very poppy. There, nah. I'm not <laughs> sure if that's the language that youngsters are using these days. And I'm an old buck, so your Instagram is too poppy. Um, besides pageantry, have you ever considered a career in modeling, perhaps? Oh yeah, um, currently okay. start with an agency and next year I'll be looking into commercial modeling. Oh, nice. Hey, go, it's again, you'll be saving us all over the show. <laughs> I'm currently in a modeling academy, Ace Models oh. International. Ace Models. I think we follow Ace Models. With, yes, we follow Ace Models. They, look, they do a lot of pageantry as well. So yes. that's, that's amazing. That's amazing. Oh, nice. All the best. And look, you could have chosen to enter any pageant in the world. Why did you choose to enter Miss Township South Africa? Well, to be honest, um, my journey with Miss Township South Africa started when I started following the previous crown queen, um, Naledi Rafali. Um, oh. Her before she was even crowned Miss Township South Africa. So oh. after I saw that she won the Miss Township South Africa, like I saw growth, you know, and mm -hmm. I was like, no, I should enter as well. And at that time, they didn't have the teen category. So um, yes. the first Miss Teen Township South Africa. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. So, like, no ways. I, I need to enter. And then last year, they finally um, created the teen category. And then that's when like, I was like, okay, I need to enter. Because I saw how life-changing this pageant is. You actually grow. Mm -hmm. Mm. in person that i was when i entered this pageant so mm. that's what i needed for from a pageant and that's why i entered this pageant um the other day we were interviewing miss face of rustenburg and mm. she was saying that she has desires of actually entering miss township south africa that's how amazing <laughs> the pageant actually is yeah, and she it, cannot it, wait it's life-changing i don't want to lie I've, mm. So many opportunities after I was crowned Miss Township. So it's life changing. I don't want to lie. Great stuff. And what are some of the projects that you are involved in within the pageant? Oh, uh, now we have the Little Galleries um, yes. organization of which we donate sanitary towels to less privileged girls. And then mm. right now we're going to have um, Christmas parties for less privileged. Um, ah. who, yeah, we'll be donating food, food parcels, and yeah, and last year I was involved in the, um, um, what's this, the food drive, I did food drives for people that are homeless, mm. and then I donated clothes as well, so moving forward, I'm just going to have so many organizations, and mm. I'm going to with other organizations and um i'm about to have my own campaign i'm going oh, to be on cyber bullying because oh. that's focus during my reigning year ah amazing amazing and earlier on you spoke about opportunities that arise when you enter um the pageant especially if you win like you um so what are some of the opportunities that you have encountered so far um I have I have been asked to be an ambassador for this other beauty saloon for okay. yep. Yes. And it has just been great. Um I've been getting mm. so many interviews. Um mm. like this one tends to judge, you know. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> Great. I don't want to lie, it has been great. So. You know, if, if there's one thing, and I said this last time I interviewed um, your, your fellow um, sister queens, that 
if there's one thing about Miss Township, South Africa, Libizi, Khabarekiwa, Miss Township, South Africa, guys. Ever since the very beginning, like Khabarekiwa, you guys are very busy, and you know what? You're living literally the purpose that you were meant to to live within pageantry, and. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the other accountants laughing now. <laughs> exactly, I said this again last time. Who be easy? Who to meet you? And um, your sister Queen Neo, um, during the last interview, mentioned that the pageant does a lot for women within the townships. And of course, now moving into the township economy or the way things are set up in the township, if you could change any of the social economic issues or imbalances that um are currently prevalent in the townships which one would it be for me i think i would change the um unemployment right i mm. think unemployment has so many effects on our townships for one mm. it increases poverty and you know that yeah. poverty do create a crime you know so yeah crime increases as well so i feel like if we were to be able to solve the unemployment issue so mm. many would you know change you know would see change and one thing that actually makes me to want to focus on unemployment is because mm. it's so disheartening to see our fellow sisters and brothers sitting with their degrees at home you know mm. graduating with degrees at home so i definitely would focus on unemployment Great stuff. And still within um, that notion, uh, moving forward into your future then, um, what would you like your legacy to be? Well, I'd like to be remembered as, you know, someone who was dedicated, someone who was mm -hmm. someone who went out of her way to help others, you know, a philanthropist at heart. That's one thing that mm -hmm. I've always to be remembered as you know i always see mm -hmm. that in whatever that i do and i always want to lend a hand where i can so i would like to be remembered as a philanthropist as a philanthropist amazing stuff and then taking you back to the cyberbullying campaign that you mentioned can we expect it anytime soon like what can we look forward to um within your reign in the next couple of because it's already december let's say next year beginning of the year what can we look forward to from your side to kick things off for 2022 well, from my side, I believe that um, working with the Miss Township South Africa team, team will um, will be doing, mm -hmm. I'm going to create like a small group, you know, to actually mm -hmm. speak to youngsters, the youth, you know, about letting mm -hmm. your parents out, you know, it's, it's especially to the boy child it's always a good thing to yeah. actually let emotions out because like boys i, I think like boys lend the hard way man. i think like boys are grew mm. up in, a man doesn't cry things like that and then it leads to mm -hmm. gbv you know and cyberbullying as well guys cyberbullying takes so many of our sisters and brothers from us you know so many people come mm. Cyberbullying. So I think as the youth, we need to teach each other to do better. So, yeah. Amazing. Ah, I'm certainly looking forward to all of that. And in closing, what does beauty mean to you? Well, to me, beauty, you know, it means being the most best possible vision of yourself inside, mm. you know, this is not about in the face. I, I think that we see a person's beauty through his or her actions. You know, mm. it's being beauty just out, beautiful, that's yeah. just inside, but in the inside as well in the inside as well amazing stuff oh offense thank you so much for joining us tonight um i don't want to show my nails too much because i didn't do them in your nail ambassador so let me not embarrass myself like i'm trying my best from kibu and not 
like do this a lot but all the best for the future all the best for the nail ambassadorship all the best for the interviews that you are getting all the opportunities that are awaiting for you in the world in general outside and inside of pageantry and yes man it was lovely to host you tonight thank you thank you so much for having me thank you fente bye 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 <laughs> Uh, yes, guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. It was a lovely interview with the beautiful Ofense Sebupa, who is the reigning Miss Township South Africa teen. Until tomorrow, look, we are still here every day, every day. It's no longer beke le beke, remember? It's every day, every day we are here. So catch us tomorrow, <laughs> same time, hopefully same place. Bye-bye. <laughs>